First ball comes up. Shall <laughs> we say that was a little fortunate for the Pakistans, slightly offline, and we've seen all the evidence from that other game, the first game of the series. That's the super shot. Just got enough on it. Just. That is the bravest of shots when the long off is back. <laughs> Phil Salt looks relatively unconcerned but his heart must have been in his mouth here for a little moment because it needed to carry the man and it just did so gives himself space again it goes over the top and it goes all the way as well that big outside edge 10 from two this was uh, outside edge that's an edge you can do absolutely nothing about those as a fielding side. Frustration for Dahani. Hoiked away in the air, not out of the middle of the bat, just trickling its way towards the boundary where it just beats the dive. Knocked him over. You can talk about intent all you like, but when your stumps are lying on the floor behind you and the bowler is charging off towards the dressing room, you know it's time to go. They were controlling the game before this happened. Slow delivery working for Pakistan. And danger man Alex Hill has been picked up. 26 from 21 deliveries is 42 for one. Dahani. Oh, he's knocked him over again. Around his legs, and off he goes. Pointing to the badge, pointing to the dressing room. If he had a point to prove, he is proving it. He enjoys it, he enjoys the crowd. We've seen it in PSL, and now watch that. That's a beautiful delivery right on the money. And David Milan going across a little bit too much, exposed his leg stump, and there we go. Off you go, Dhani. Big wicket, massive wicket, two big wickets for Dhani. 42 for two. Slow ball again, and uh, Duckett has found a way of finding the fence. The final over of the power play is often full of drama. This one has been no different. 48 for two. Another sweep, top edge, but I think he's got a nice piece of it. Yes, that has flashed away behind square for four. Reverse, it goes square up. Oh, that's a magnificent stroke. Very good indeed from Duckett. That's a big over in the context of this game. Halfway through the first innings. Crunch that. He's crunched it and placed it. Crunched again. Well, this is sterling batting. That's what all is fast and straight. Phil Salt just takes the gloves off and starts that walk back home. This radiation is helping. The first one was a slow ball, 127, and then the quick back of a length. He was playing across the line, missed it completely. An important breakthrough for Pakistan team. And what a spell, what an over from Harish Rauf. Phil Salt departs for 30 of 27, and England 95 for three. Oh, bowling. For once, the calculations have gone wrong. For once, the gamble has failed. Different length, different line towards off. Tom pulled his length slightly shorter and slower as well. And Duckett was done for all those reasons. And obviously not the most exuberant celebration considering Duckett has played a fine knock. 43 from just the 22. England now 101 for four. Up it goes. High and long. 
It's a good shot, but not a great field set. Because for a new batsman, if you're going to bowl this length, your square leg should be behind leg umpire. And at this occasion, he was right in front. Unless you're Moen Ali. Unless you are Moen Ali with the sweetest of touches. The best of timing and those long levers. Don't believe a word I say, that's six. Just as you said it. It's pitched up, he gets under the ball, and swings through the line. Excellent shot. That's gone a long way back. 94 meters the distance on that six. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Same sort of distance, same sort of area. Moen Ali is the man for this situation, it would seem. 133 for four. Slow ball, all oh, picked and dumped over the boundary. Wow. That is a touch of genius from Brook. 150 up, 151 for four. Four men back on the leg side. It doesn't matter. Put another one back because that is out of the park again. Not sure it was perfectly timed, but it does not matter. Oh, he's got him. He's knocked him over. The bowler's revenge, and it's sweet. Yeah, he wanted to go with the top, hitting the middle stump. Slow delivery, I guess. Good length, and uh, Harris really pumped up. He's a wicket taker. It's 160 for five. He's got a chance to redeem himself. Oh, no! Oh, no! Every game now, Pakistan are being able to drop these sitters on the fence. The boundary fielders or the high catching has gone amiss. You almost expect him to just catch that and throw it back. And Well, how can you drop that? Oh, boom. That is out of here. Up into the night sky from Moeen Ali. And nobody does it better or makes it look more graceful. Such a clean striker of the ball. It was full, it was there. Watch that bat coming through and watch the follow through. That's your four iron, Butch. Long way, that's gone miles. 101 meters. Oh, he's got another one. He's got another one. It's gone all the way. England go to 199. Moeen Ali goes to 50. 55 from 23. It's the second fastest by an England batter against Pakistan. The stand-in captain has led the way. The rest of his batting lineup has been on top, top form as well in challenging batting conditions, or at least we thought so. England outstanding simply outstanding hills 21 deliveries he's got 26 he was a little struggle for him early on with the new ball salt batted quite nicely but ben duckett is the man batted so superbly and then of course icing on the cake was moin ali and that has meant that pakistan were put to the sword as then 51 off his four Harris Rauf, probably the pick Two for 30 off his four, but Pakistan will have to chase down 200. We are ready to play. 200 is the target. The target will be reduced by two. Throw is off target. Nicely worked away on the offside. Punching the ball at the back foot, using the pace, and the first boundary has been scored through Mohammad Rizwan. Just a little bit of swing, but it's swung nicely onto the middle of the bat. There's that timing again. There's yes, another boundary in this opening over. A sort of look of resignation from David Willey. Yeah, he's got enough of that. 
the dive. Not quite enough, there was a hand on it, took just a little bit of pace off. Smash straight down the ground. That slow delivery was picked from the hand. And that's emphatic. 25 without loss. A great shot. Absolutely lovely shot. Best time to bat on pitches like this is when the ball is new and hard and skids nicely onto the bat. He's picked that up. He's picked that up to perfection and lands over the boundary. Massive ticks from Rizwan in his first of his innings. Yeah, but he bought that line and land. Mohamed Rizwan has got that in veteran tendency to whip the ball over square leg. And here's the evidence. It's quite efficient. This is one of his absolute key areas. And he uses that slight back of a length delivery he uses the bounce you get from that not responding to that but father Azen is responding to his credits quite nicely out there in the middle it's gone straight up in the air man backtracks and puts it down alex hales it looked as though he'd got it. He watched it down into his hands and then got his feet into a tangle at the end. Tough chance, but should have taken it once he got there. Yeah, he was never comfortable underneath it. He was just moving back, back. He could have easily turned around because the ball was in the air for a long period. Have another go in the crowd. How often does that happen? Drop catch to the bowler, next ball goes for a boundary, on this occasion six, and it's 50 up for Pakistan. 31 of 15. Down the leg side, it's a, a poor delivery, or poorly directed anyway. And uh, Rizwan gratefully sweeps that away to the fence. What a hit from Babarazan. We've seen some classy ones, but none better than this. As he easily hits it down the ground, back where it came from. Timing, beautiful balance, as always. Brilliant, Babar. First ball from Moen Ali goes way over the ropes. A little bit too short. That's all that uh, Barbara hasn't needed. Spectacular. Absolutely brilliant. Slightly outside the off stump, and that has been pumped. is huge that is the over that gets Pakistan well in front of this chase 21 off the over 125 without loss and he'll recede doesn't seem to make an awful lot of difference whether it's Moen Ali or Adil Rashid their different styles being treated with the same contempt. Here we go again, here we go again. Not quite so far this time, but certainly far enough. Yeah, Barbaraz in telling his partner, if you can do that, I can do it better. Second six of the over, 150 on the board. Yeah, eighth of the innings. England got nine for Pakistan already with eight. It's been magnificent hitting. Leg side, offside, no answer. T like that. This is a beauty. Picking the gap nicely. Wow. End of the over. 164. No wicket down. 
Not with these full tosses, there's a fielder there, but to no avail for the maximum. And working for England. What a hit. Small opportunity, a very small one for England. And just hitting the hand and going for six. What a hit once again, Babar Azam. These two are looking great. Babar Azam becomes the first Pakistani player to make two centuries in T20 international cricket. The first was in Centurion against South Africa. On that occasion, he was chasing a total of 204. On this, it's 200. He is their hero. They've given him some stick over the course of the Asia Cup. But once again, he's the bright-eyed boy of Pakistan cricket, and he has played magnificently. Absolutely. He's back with the bang, the skipper. Oh, he's found the gap. That is superb. Absolutely superb. The ball was a whisker away from the perfect Yorker from Wood, but he's dug it out and pinged it between mid on and mid wicket for four. Chance. Oh, it was a chance. And England needed to take it. Ideally, you don't want to go into the last over, you want to finish it before that. Amazing partnership. That's it. Baba finishes it. He finishes it, and who else? That has been quite extraordinary. 1 0 down in the series. All sorts of questions about the batting lineup, about the intent, 